We are looking forward in the coming week to using our driveway. Some years ago, even before we bought the house, somebody paved that driveway. It was simple, it was a single driveway, but the paving was good. We might even say very good. But when we moved, and here we introduce some human activity, the moving van pulled up on the, the driveway and put ruts in it. It was still usable, and it has been for some 20 years, but it was not what it once was. For years, it served its le as less than perfect, but it was known to play host to some hockey, and even the parking of cars, even though those, those cars needed to be jockeyed back and forth. And one thing that it wasn't designed for, it held puddles when those ruts were, were there. And uh, our daughter Lindsay loved those puddles and loved jumping in them. But as time went by, the surface got worse and the ruts got deeper. We tried a temporary fix, and the people that did it worked hard. They filled in some low spots, and that worked to a degree, but eventually the added material came away, and we had a worse problem than we started with. Now, some years ago, when the ambulance came to pick me up to go to hospital, that was not this year, but a few years back, I rode the gurney down the driveway to the ambulance, and it was a rough ride. Before passing out, I said to my wife, get the driveway paved while I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Those would have been my last words if things... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all these years later, it was the same and it was deteriorating. In many ways, the world is like that driveway. It started out to be a blessing, and it was created with purpose, and it was created in beauty. When God beheld it in that new state, God said, ooh, that's good. That's very good. And it was. Anybody could see it. But then the world was turned over to humanity, and God said, look after it, but ruts started to appear. The world was not as nice as it had been in that pristine condition, and the people weren't as nice either, even to each other. Now, it still served its purpose, though not perfect, and, and that's a testament to the original design and the original maker. And some loved it in its less than perfect state, like Lindsay jumping in those puddles. But things still got progressively worse. Something had to be done. Temporary fixes were tried. And they weren't bad, and they weren't done by ill-meaning people, they were done by well-meaning people, but they simply covered what was an underlying problem that wasn't going to get any better and still needed to be addressed. When I had my second gurney experience on that unlevel driveway, and when an inheritance, or more precisely uh, an insurance payout, made it possible, it was time. It was high time to pave, to restore what had been, maybe even to make it a little bit better. And similarly, the time came when it was appropriate with the world and its people to do some restoration work and to do something new. Now, in July, we contracted to have our driveway paved. 
The time was right. In fact, the plan called for more than just replacing or restoring what had been. Firstly, we were going to add concrete curbs and a small patio in front of the house, just off the driveway. And the driveway itself was to be widened from single width to double, so more vehicles could be accommodated there, so we wouldn't have to jockey our own cars and some of our, our, those visiting our house could park in the driveway as well. And similarly, God's new plan called for something, something new, something better than had been before. God's new covenant accommodates more people. It's more broad. It invites more people in to the home of God. So back in July, we contracted to have our driveway done. A plan was drawn up and measurements were taken. We even called the city to widen the curb down by the, the roadway to accommodate what was planned. And then we waited. We knew that it was coming. We didn't know when. To be fair, we were told when we booked that it would take time, that it would be September or October, perhaps, before the pavers got around to, to doing that work, and the weather would play a role perhaps in backing even that time frame up. Now when November rolled around and the driveway hadn't been started, we figured that this new driveway would have to wait until spring. So we were very surprised when the phone rang early one morning and the crew would be there to start the job within the hour. We had to scramble to make sure that all was ready for the process to begin. After months of waiting, years really, paving day was finally upon us, and it was a surprise when it finally came, when it finally happened. We have known about God's new covenant with humanity for 2,000 years. And we have known of the need for some remedial action for a lot longer than that. As long as we have known this was coming, we have not known when it was coming. Some have tried to predict when the end of time would come, when the second coming of Christ would come, when, when God's kingdom would be reestablished. And they've been wrong every time, but then Scripture has told us that. We are told in Scripture that about the day or the hour, no one knows. The day of the Lord, the reign of Christ, will surprise us. Even the angels will be surprised at its coming. Even as the flood came as a surprise in Noah's day. The message, however, is to be ready at all times, and then we will be ready any time Jesus' kingdom dawns. When I was in the military, they used to say preparation prevents poor performance. Well, preparation means that the reign of Christ will come as a pleasant surprise, not as a horrible one. In other words, we can easily avoid the weeping and the gnashing of teeth talked about in Matthew's Gospel. The weeping and gnashing of teeth, of regret, of missing out because one is not ready for what is prophesied. Some years ago, there was an older woman in a Scottish congregation and her minister was speaking about the weeping and the gnashing of teeth. And he said several times throughout his sermon, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And finally this older woman stood up and said, but what if we have no teeth? 
The minister said teeth will be provided. <laughs> the reign of Christ is good news. The idea of putting all things right again is worth celebrating. It promises to be better than new. How many times have we seen human figures return from exile to their homelands, to a hero's welcome? And so it should be. And so it can be with Jesus' return into our midst. And our driveway, well, it's better than expected, even though we haven't driven on it yet. It's better even than the plan suggested. So will the pleasant surprise of Jesus' kingdom be more than we could ask or imagine. Thanks be to God. Amen.